Rency right now, uh, former McDonald's USA CEO, uh, still actively involved uh, in all things in that industry. You know, um, Ed, did this policy exist in the days you were there? I mean, for even all franchises, that sort of thing? It did for a very long time. Uh, you know, McDonald's has got a family image, and we serve families across the country, and we held ourselves to a very high standard. And Mr. Easterbrook had a very serious lapse in judgment. I think the board acted quickly. I think the consequences are correct. I think McDonald's is a very strong organization. They've got great, talented people. You see how swiftly they replaced him. Uh, I look forward to a, a prosperous uh, journey with McDonald's as a customer and a stockholder. Uh, the greatest strength McDonald's has, and nobody should ever forget this, are the McDonald's franchisees, the owner-operators, the people that are in those stores every day, running those stores, meeting with the public, selling product and engaging in a way that makes that company extremely strong. They'll recover from this. Uh, they'll make smart decisions. And I think the new leadership will carry on and improve what's been happening. And I think it's a great company, and I think they're going to do well. All right. So as I understand it, Ed, employees at McDonald's can date one another. It's just what got uh, very thorny here was the fact that it was uh, a boss with a subordinate. And we don't know who leaked out that this relationship was going on, um, or maybe it was not exactly a widely held secret. But what do you make of that? Well, the reality of it is, anytime a superior uh, officer of the company is dating a subordinate, that has an adverse effect on everybody around them because other people in the company say, is that person getting an advantage because of the relationship with the boss, uh, what's going on? And it's just inappropriate. And in this day and age, it is just unthinkable that anybody would do that. Uh, the mistake was made. It's been corrected. Uh, but everybody better take note in all industry across the country. Uh, this is a bad relationship when a superior is dating a subordinate because uh, everybody gets hurt. The stockholders got hurt today. The employees got hurt. The reputation got hurt. Uh, Easterbrook's going to walk away with a lot of money, but he was terminated. Uh, you know, it, nothing's good going to come out of this, except it ought to wake people up and do what's right. You know, what's interesting about this, you, you mentioned the uh, USA operations head, Chris Kapsinski, who's taking over right now, pretty much echoing he's going to continue the policies that Easterbrook was orchestrating for more efficient drive throughs uh, more variation in the, in the menu and all of that. So not much will change as far as business operations, which I guess, to your point, is a net-net good, right? Absolutely. Uh, the, the strategies are pretty good. Uh, and the, the reality of it is, every time McDonald's executives get off and the ship starts, the ship starts taking on water, it gets off course, the franchisees bring it back. They've got an immense invested interest in that company succeeding, and they don't mind speaking their mind. You know, they were at cross purposes about 18 months ago. Management woke up, listened to the franchisees, I think, on a much better footing today. I think McDonald's has got a good path ahead for them. And they'll make adjustments as they need to, like any business should do when things are getting into rough water. You know, this was even happening under Easterbrook's reign here, that, that somehow the company stumbled when it came to chicken and chicken sandwiches that now are being dominated by Chick-fil-A and, of course, Popeyes. How did McDonald's screw up there? I have no idea. Frankly, uh, McDonald's is in the business of selling food for money and profit. <laughs> um, and chicken is one of the most profound proteins in the United States today and had been for the last 15 years. Uh, McDonald's has got a great wealth of chicken products across the globe. Uh, many of them are very interesting. Uh, chicken McNuggets led the way originally. Uh, there's no reason why McDonald's should not have a portfolio of great chicken sandwiches.